Alright, so today is Saturday morning, last uh, morning of Camp Rain Sierra, which was an awesome week. And we're all packing up, so I'm just going to take one last video. I used my mosquito netting last night, and besides the Velcro factor, it was awesome. Velcro was still quite annoying, so I'm going to, once I get to Minnesota, get some mosquito netting. Uh, probably glue the bottom shut, and then sew Velcro in. I mean, not sorry, not Velcro. Sew some uh, zipper. So I'm not sure how long it'll be, but probably 50% uh, more than this. So that's mine. We're all done with that. Here's Mix. You know, single nest. He says he wants the bigger one. Uh, you just got rope, just like everybody else, no ridge line. There's a single nest. And here's Reese's Buyer Traveler Parachute, which Taylor was sleeping in. And um, all of our ground camper converts were sleeping in the hammock for, I think, three days. Right here. Yeah, and there's Austin. He's hella chillin'. He's got my, uh, Bayer Mosquito. Oh, and yeah. Check out this broken oh, yeah, and, um, so, we had, um, a heavy guy. <laughs> a problem. <laughs> yeah, he kinda broke the hammock. And then it, bro it broke, like, three times this week, so... Maybe four. Yeah, re originally put a little it was only three the first time. Um, to tell you, oh, sorry, mosquito. To tell you the truth, I thought the paracord was gonna break first, just like all the other threads I heard, and um, it ripped. The cord ripped out of the um, fabric. So Reese put a little piece of Reese put a little bark in, and. Um, Put a taut line hitch on it. He put a t yeah, he put a taut line hitch. And then this time we did taut line hitches and lark's heads. But Austin just slept in it like a traveler. But we did have the mosquito netting up a little bit. Carabiners, rope, and here's Reese's, who's borrowing my E and O double. It's got a ridge line on it. Well, it's not a video camera, but um, there he is. Uh, yeah, it's kind of kind of got a janky um. Clean socks. Oh yeah. Okay. Janky ridge line there with uh, cotton and nylon. But, you know, whatever works. Nylon hitch, bowling actually. Sorry. And oh, I just want to. Oh, hold on. Get my uh, gear net there. Um, I found that, at least with this webbing, that you only need to wrap two times as long as you tuck the end under something. So that's what I did. I only went two times around compared to the recommended four times. But I'm still. I'm thinking of going to REI and getting some one inch tubular webbing for twelve ninety five and making a new set of straps because these are still really thick and heavy and I don't really want to take them to Minnesota. So yeah, that is the end of our hammocking adventure for the week. So I'll see you guys later. Hey, I just wanted to show you how much faster all our hammock campers can de-rig compared to all the tent campers. All of us who are here and working are pretty much done taking our stuff down. Well, Taylor's not working right now. So we just need to take the ropes off. What? And all the, the uh, tent campers, besides one over there, um, have a long way to go. So, yet another advantage. 
Maybe we'll have an interview of the converts that we were able to use. I don't know what the word is, but yeah, we'll take an interview of them later. Bye. So here is an interview of Austin and Taylor, who were the ground, <laughs> who were the ground campers, and uh, have now converted for the week to hammock camping. Here they are. So, um, just tell us what you prefer about hammock camping versus ground camping. It was super comfy. <laughs> Um, well, I really liked um, just like the different ways you could like sleep. Sleep. The relaxation the factor. The relaxation factor. Yeah. It was sure. very nice. The and first day, the first two nights, we slept on the ground, and I had a little styrofoam piece of crap, and uh, it was really uncomfortable. And then Nikki set up his hammock, and bam, I was comfy. <laughs> well. I mean, the only bad part about it is like yeah, my pad just like was like I, oh, I didn't have a pad. I just, I just said screw it to my pad and just. And it gets cold sometimes if you're not on the pad. They should make like a padded. Hammock. Really? Yeah, like like a thermorest hammock. It's like a thermorest built into the hammock. Yes. That would be smart. That would be I ideal. like that. All right. Okay. Maybe you any should, other uh, questions? Any other questions, people from uh, Facebook? <laughs> Uh, oh yes. Uh, what do you think about the versatility of hammocks versus ground camping? Oh, um, very small. I I would. I I, I really. <laughs> what? <laughs> they are they are very versatile. All right, there you go. Um, I mean they pack really small and so I just you can said, bring them dude. I just said they're just like really small and like <laughs> optional. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, I was actually thinking about like. Like, I think they'd be a lot more, like, like, fun to go on camping trips with them because it's a lot less bulky than a pad and, like, a tent and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm, People yeah. from Facebook? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For sure. All right, cool. Thanks, Austin and Taylor. Thanks, Nikki. And scene.